In this video, we're going to look at ice tables and solving for the initial concentration of one or more reactant. In this example, uh, we're going to look at the following equilibrium system. So we have hydrogen gas plus iodine gas in equilibrium with hydrogen iodide gas, and we have a Kc value of 3.45. If equal amounts of hydrogen, and iodine, hydrogen gas and iodine gas were placed into an empty flask, at equilibrium, the concentration of hydrogen iodide gas was found to be 0 0.60 moles per liter. What was the initial concentration of hydrogen gas and iodine gas? So our first step here is going to be to write an ice table. So hydrogen gas plus iodine gas in equilibrium with two hydrogen iodide. Uh, and we can write our I... C, E down the side. Uh, so we don't know the initial concentration of hydrogen iodide. So we're going to fill in what we do know. Um, we know that the equilibrium concentration of hydrogen iodide gas is 0 0.60. So we can fill that in. And we know that the initial concentration of hydrogen iodide was actually 0. And we know this because equal amounts of hydrogen and iodine were added, but the flask was other otherwise empty. And so that means that our change for hydrogen iodide is positive 0 0.60. If we look at our hydrogen and our iodine, we can fill in the table in the same manner or fill in what we can. So we know that if the change for hydrogen iodide is positive, the change for hydrogen and iodine is negative. We also know that hydrogen iodide has a 2, and so this value must be divided by 2 to, so that it uh, will match the coefficients for hydrogen gas and iodine gas in order to be placed here for the change. So 0 0.60 divided by 2, our change will be negative 0.3 for both of these. We're going to be solving for our initial concentration, so we're going to label that as x. And so our equilibrium concentration if we add down the column, is going to be x minus 0 0.30 for both of these species. So we have our uh, ice table set up. We can now plug this into our equilibrium expression. So Keq, uh, we can use Keq and Kc interchangeably. Hi squared over hydrogen times iodine, and so we know that KEQ or KC equals 3.42, and that's going to equal 0 0.60 squared over x minus 0 0.30 squared. And the reason that we can write this as x, or x minus 0 0.30 is that we have x minus 0 0.30 times x minus 0 0.30. So we've just simplified that up. So we're going to rearrange this equation. So I'm just going to move my x value up. So x is going to equal the square root of 0 0.60 squared divided by 3.42 plus 0 0.30. So to walk through how we get there, we're going to switch places between the 3.42 and the x, so, or in, the, in this x term. So we're going to switch places. That's going to be step one. So we'll swap these. Step two is we have to get rid of this square, and the way to do that is to take the square root. So square roots will cancel out squares here. So step two, get rid of that square. Step three, we want to isolate x, and the way we do that is we move the 0 0.30 to the other side of the equation. So we add 0 0.30. So if you're not super clear on how to rearrange this, practice going from this step to this step. So plugging in these numbers, we get x is equal to 0 0.30. 0.62, um, and we get two moles, two sig digs, so 0 0.62 moles per liter.
if you want to check that you've done this correctly, you could find the equilibrium concentration for our um, H2 and our I2. So we could see that at equilibrium, hydrogen gas is going to be 0 0.32, as is iodine. And then you can plug these numbers into your KEQ expression. So 0 0.60 squared over 0 0.32 squared. And just double check that you do, in fact, get around 3.5. Now, there's some rounding in there, so it's going to be a bit off. But you do, in fact, get the correct answer. So that has verified our work. In our next example, we have 0 0.40 moles per liter hydrogen gas and an unknown concentration of nitrogen gas were added, were placed into an empty flask and allowed to reach the following equilibrium. So nitrogen plus hydrogen is in equilibrium with ammonia and our KEQ value is 5.62. So at equilibrium, 0 0.10 moles per liter hydrogen gas remained in the flask what was the initial concentration of the nitrogen gas? So we're going to start by writing, rewriting our balanced reaction so we can construct an ice table. So we're going to write ice down the left side, um, divide up our ice table into reactants and products. And then we can start to fill in the information that we know. So. We know that the initial concentration of hydrogen gas is 0 0.40. We know that initially we have no ammonia, and we're going to represent the initial concentration of nitrogen with an X. We know at equilibrium we have 0 0.10 moles per liter of hydrogen gas. We can solve for the change in concentration of hydrogen gas because we know that the initial plus the change will equal our equilibrium. So that means that our change is negative 0 0.30 moles per liter. We can use this to calculate the change for other species. So hydrogen has a coefficient of 3 and a change of 0.3. Nitrogen has a coefficient of 1. Its change will be 3 times smaller than that of hydrogen. So its change will be 0 0.10. Because nitrogen has a coefficient of 1, we can use it to find the change for ammonia. Ammonia has a coefficient of 2, so its change will be twice as much, but will also be positive. So its change will be positive 0 0.20. We can add down our columns now to get our equilibrium concentrations of all species. So ammonia has an equilibrium concentration of 0.2, and nitrogen has an equilibrium concentration of x minus 0 0.10. So we're going to be able to now write our equilibrium expression. So that's going to be KEQ equals the concentration of ammonia squared divided by the concentration of nitrogen times the concentration of hydrogen cubed. And we can fill in the numbers from our equilibrium row as well as our KEQ value, so 5.62 is going to equal 0 0.20 squared divided by uh, x minus 0 0.10, so our nitrogen concentration, times 0 0.10 cubed, which is our hydrogen concentration. We are going to be solving this equation for x, so we want to isolate our x minus 0.1 term. And to do that, we're just going to swap places between x and our k value. So our x term and our k value, we'll just move them to opposite sides of the equation. And so we're going to get x equals 0 0.20 molar squared divided by 5.62 times 0 0.1 molar cubed. And because we want to isolate x by itself, we have to get rid of that 0 0.10 term. And because it's subtracted from x, we're going to add it to the other side of the equation. So we'll add 0 0.10 molar to this uh, equation. And that's going to give us an x value of 7.2 molar moles per liter.
If we wanted to check our work, we could solve for the equilibrium concentration of nitrogen. Uh, so it's going to be 7.2 moles per liter divided, or sorry, subtract 0 0.1. So that's the change. And so we get an equilibrium concentration of 7.1 moles per liter. And then we can sub that into our KEQ expression and verify that it equals about 5.62. With some rounding, we might get a slightly different answer, but it should be pretty close. So 0 0.20 squared divided by 7.1 times 0 0.10 cubed. And we will get 5.63. So again, just little rounding errors, but that verifies that we've done our calculation correctly.